It's so evident that the church has such a skewed view on what the Bible teaches is crazy. And it's multiple skewed views because of religion, right? And it gets chopped up and thrown out into the mix. But the idea that we as believers don't have to do what God says anymore, aka the Torah, the law, right? The instructions of living in this world um, built by a creator who designed it and designed the instructions to go along with the people so that we knew how to live, right? We knew what to eat, how to behave, how to take care of problems amongst ourselves, things like that. Manufacturers' recommendations on how we are to live in this place. But the idea that we don't have to do that no more and that the quote-unquote law was done away with at the cross brings me to a question then. Why do I need a Jewish Messiah then? Why do I need a Messiah? If he'd done away with something and it, it doesn't matter no more, then why do I need him? Because if he did away with it, there's nothing to judge me by. I can't sin. Because in order to sin, I have to break the rules that the creator set in place, not men. The creator rules I have to break in order for that sin to be counted against me. But if Yeshua or Jesus, whatever you guys are going with there, bud, um, did, did what he did, then there's no more rules for me to break. So robbing, stealing, and killing, and pillaging, and doing all these evil things, I can't do no more. I mean, I can do them, but I can't be judged for them. Clearly, that's the most inconsistent thing I've ever heard in my life. And I come from the church, and I've always had a problem with it. I'm like, I just don't. We do not get to pick and choose what we get to do, right? Like, he sets it in place. He says, hey, if you want to belong to my kingdom, these are how we're going to behave. I heard someone on TikTok say, well, us New Testament Christians don't have to do that no more. That's awful funny. There was no New Testament when Peter, James, John, Paul, these guys was doing something. It was always the Tanakh. It wasn't until later on, way later on, that those letters and those um, writings got put in and added to the Tanakh to make what we call the Bible, the you know Old Testament, New Testament. So the idea that you think those guys were running around doing a bunch of illegal stuff towards the Creator, but we need to go back and reread the Bible in context. It's not good. It's not good. 